Hello. Welcome back to another pen talk. Thanks for tuning in. I think this is a special video because I found a fellow Franken pen maker. I've been a little bit more active on Etsy recently. Well, I not really was much active on Etsy, but you know, uh, Bobby Pen, Chinese Pen is is now selling there. And I like to support him in all his medias, that Amazon and eBay. So once you start doing some activity on a particular site, they get a idea of what you like and you not like. So this was presented to me as something I might be interested in. And I go, wow. So the primary point of the Etsy posting was this pen which obviously is the original Leica, which everybody really loves and is no longer around. And people keep asking me for if they can get one, and I keep saying, well, you need to keep in touch. So this was the main focus, and I'm just blown away. And this is also the one with the seven turns to take the cap off. I only have one of these with that unscrews with two turns. That may even be more than seven. But look at this nib. I mean, that's a beautiful Schaefer inlay nib. Lifetime 14 karat. You know, has that nice design. And it screws in to the body of the Leica. I would have never thought that that was possible. Yeah, it's a very tight fit, so it's certainly going to work well as an eyedropper. And I would certainly put silicone grease on those threads and you can see there's been some ink in there and it takes a lot of turns to get it off but it does fit and the much to my amazement because I have a number of these nibs this nib is actually a little soft those tines spread with a little bit of pressure the caps a little frosted I think it was something that the maker did, and he mentioned that. And, you know, the, the posting was very clear, very good, but then he threw in a Moon Man. So now I have two of these, and I do really like this pen. So um, I got an extra one of these now, in addition to something that I find very unique. So I just wanted to give the first view. So I'm going to do my work on it, ink it up, and put nib to paper. I've cleaned out this like a Franken pen as well as I can. There's still some residual ink there, but I think it's it's pretty clean. Here we have Virgin Leica. You can see uh, the person who put this Franken pen in tried to put some texture, tried to match the texture here in the middle of the cap at the top of the cap but I don't think it was as successful as he would have liked it to have been. So this actually screws quite easily into this which is amazing that the threads are the same. I've also tried it into another like a barrel and it fits fine. So we're just going to have to figure out what kind of ink to put in this and see how it writes. So one of the things that amazes me is this has a little bit of flex to it which is very unusual for this type of inlaid nib. And I just can't get over that I paid less than what you'd normally pay for the nib for the nib in a Leica and a Virgin M2 to add to my collection. So that was a, a great buy, and let me see how it's going to write. Because I really enjoy the Leicas that I put other nibs in, so this has to be kind of over the top. So now we're ready to write with this Franken pen. Yes, this is the cat that takes seven turns to get off. And it's a long time. I silicone grease this. You may say, are you you concerned about ink in that metal part of that section? My answer is no. I think Schaefer did what they did to make that metal corrosion resistant. Because of the work that the previous person did on this, it doesn't and the cap kind of posts. Yeah, this is a pen I would use posted just to keep the cap someplace. I decided on this ink. 
one of my favorites. I got a big bottle from the Ink Art Ink Robert Oster website. So let's put the nib to paper and see how this Franken pen writes. This is one wet nib. And this is the only Schaefer inlay nib like this that I have that has any type of flex or softness to it at all. And this is very smooth. I've had a number of these Schaefer nibs which have also found to be very smooth, but this one makes them look like sharp nails. So I'm very impressed. This is an extremely nice writer. And my handwriting is degrading. So I'm extremely pleased with this purchase. Now, is this nib a perfect fit for this section? Now, is it tight? Is any ink leak? No. So that's a good sign. I was just I never thought of putting this combination together. And as I mentioned, the price that I paid for this at Etsy, this nib sells for twice that amount, just the nib alone. And I also got a Moonman M2 with a 2 or M1. It's light. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little journey. And now I'm into Etsy as well as eBay, so I've increased my ability of buying pens that I find to be quite unique and quite interesting. So thank you for following me on this journey. And as we mentioned, this is one extremely wet, wet nib. So explore this world of pens that we have an incredible opportunity to, to, to enjoy, partake in, explore. We've reached the end of this video. I'm going to go and enjoy this nib. i got a few letters to write, so this will play a prominent role in a number of pages of those letters. So until the next video, bye for now. It's nice to have this nib work so well, and it's a vintage nib, so it's amazing how well they do work. Enjoy your day, enjoy your evening, enjoy your nibs.